the Copa America can get underway, and I'll pose that question to you again, Don. Chile, by the way, are playing in the red shirts and the blue shorts. Venezuela all in white, and that looks as though it might well be the first free kick awarded in about two seconds flat. Is this going to be Chile's year, Don, in their own country? Two twice, Paraguay twice, and Bolivia once. But uh, Chile, Venezuela, Colombia and Ecuador all here searching for their first ever Copa America. And once more, it's Chile on the attack. The ball laid forward and inside that area, plenty of bodies in here and this could be the first one. It's trickled an inch or two wide of that right hand upright. Well, that shows the danger. Super midfield bro break by the number eight, John. This is over there, but this one looks excellent. Now there might be chances, Chile still have plenty of people up here, it was a bad uh, place for the move to break down and Chile have a real chance here, the ball smothered by Fasiana, the Venezuela goalkeeper, just as the big man, hello, there was a bit of trouble there, Zamorano, actually well, they play as a unit and it's Venezuela on the breakout with Jaimes, he's got support on his right from Marcano, solidly laid through the middle and a good run as well some excellent counter-attacking here from Venezuela could they have the first strike on goal and the ball is tipped back to Toledo but that showed the enterprise of Venezuela it was a lovely ball down the right touch Rubio's line. another one they have another player called Basse de Chile who's not in the lineup tonight and he hits it well too it's a different ploy however it hasn't quite worked out as yet but it's laid back in chances here and a fine save by Frasiana from the header from Zamorano. Well, this pitch, I've commented on it before, looks as though it would be fit to, uh, to put on. Excellent condition here in Santiago. And as we told you, a number of matches being played in different centres around uh, Chile. And the breakout once more on because uh, Chile lost possession in a bad place. Midfield and outside there. Uh, the crosses in the box are not going to be as vulnerable as what they could be. Well, that must surely be offside. It doesn't matter the ball's in the net. The whistle had gone, we could see from here. That yeah. was definitely offside. That's a good run out. Yeah. Good plan. Some lightning yeah. breakouts by Venezuela. There could well be one on here as well. This time, no. And it's that man again, uh, Garrido. Okay, a lot of white shirts around when it mattered. And so the breakout is led for Venezuela here. And he's all on left foot, but uh, well, to pretty good effect by Cavallo. And supported by Riva in the blue shorts, dominating the game but unable to find a way through and a little bit wary at the moment of whenever Venezuela break, they look quite menacing. Funnily enough, Venezuela's attack wasn't too bad two years ago. They scored four goals, but they let in an awful lot. They might let in one here now. There's the chance. Fine stop. What an excellent save it was. And Frassiani dives gratefully on the ball. The first opportunity really fell to Mendoza coming down this right-hand side. He charges it down, it was a good save. And also, they've got about three or four players back on the goal line anyway. It was from Espinosa, he's made another fine stop too. So Frassiani immediately covering himself in glory. He's not a young goalkeeper, this one, Don. He's 30 years of age, but he's winning only his second cap. Him it is. Both on the Venezuela side and both players making their debut. Corner kick for Chile then, driven in, near post, plan move, goal for Chile. The first goal of the Copa America has been scored for Chile by Vilches. Well, a, a near post one again, John, you know, a typical kind of first division goal, English goal. Flick on the near post. The last time they did it, they gave a silly foul away. Uh, but this time it worked out for them. So, Chile make the breakthrough and this really... It will be interesting to see now how Venezuela will cope in the light of this. Conceding the first goal, the corner taken, a planned move, and Vilches rifles it in low. Nothing Frasiana could do about that. Chile have the lead, and that is going to settle them no end. And there is the moment that Vilches will treasure for the right, rest of... Hooked it in the, into the goal on the volley. It was, a, it was a super goal. Not an easy skill, that. And now they come again, they swarm around the Venezuelan penalty area and the ball breaks out here to Mendoza. Mendoza has figured in some good build-ups in the last few minutes and here's another good one, a second chance and this time the shot flies over the crossbar. He got too much underneath that one, by Espinosa. And a second goal would be crushing to the morale of Venezuela. Here it comes, flicked on, it's in the net again, it's a second goal! Rubio this time, and Venezuela wide open. 
but Rubio, I think he's celebrating prematurely. I think he's been I think he's been cancelled out here from the look of it and from the whistling around. Rubio there, he looked in an offside position, it must be said. Well, he came late, though, Joe. Still chilly, poor forward. They uh, look much stronger in midfield with the likes of uh, Contreras and Espinosa, experienced internationals, of course, and they're back here again, coming down the left-hand side, the chance there for the centre-forward Zamorano. Manoeuvre that one. Nothing on the end of it as yet, as the ball is not threaded through on that occasion by Espinosa. They do transfer it quite quickly, and here is this man, Maldonado. He's got good skill. Excellently got away from those two defenders there. Kept the move going, and a free kick awarded for offside. But Maldonado and the delightfully named O'Higgins. O'Higgins, yeah. <laughs> not quite sure who he was. Guess where he came from. Here's a free kick for Chile. The header on the mark. Comfortably into the arms of Frasier. It sounds like a Yorkshire. Generally, the half has gone the way uh, Chile would have wanted it to go. They were just caught square once and uh, could well have conceded the first goal in this game. As it is, they lead by one to nothing. They've had one disallowed and they're on the attack again here with Rubio. Well cut out this time. And I really think it was a vital moment in the match that when Rubio's goal was uh, disallowed. However, they might get a second one here. Lovely skill, beautifully done, a super goal, Zamorano! That's a really classical goal. A move to tear the opposition apart. The flags are flying here. Chile have a two-goal lead. It might well have been three, but this is a beautiful goal. Look at the skill factor there, the chip to perfection. The header, thank you very much. Nothing Fresiani can do about that. And it's Chile 2, Venezuela nil. and I don't mind how many times I see this goal. It looks as good as ever every time. Down the side of the box, John. Same again. The ball's played in. If they can keep this pace up, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, very uh, impressed with their fitness. And, of course, with this uh, competition format, it's based on league tables, the goal difference can be very, very important. Can they get a third one before half-time? Not with that sort of shot. Probably. Mm -hmm. But here again, for him. You really do imagine that the key game in this Group A is going to be Chile versus Argentina. Which comes up later in the week. You'll see all the matches in the South American Championships here on Screen Sport. Chile certainly must be among the keeper. Branco, who played in the World Cup yeah. last year, of course, as well in, Ita in Italy. And then the likes of uh, Higuita and Valderrama uh, for Colombia. Chile coming again over Zamorano. Still a chance of a third. They can't lay it off this time. Free kick given. Taken sharply by Rivas. Had one very good run and shot earlier on, and uh, now leaves it here for Maldonado. Maldonado tries to use his pace to get through, but he hasn't quite got enough of it. Yep. On that occasion, although you didn't actually play it. No, I was in the squad, John, and Jimmy Arfield was the right back in those days. And uh, we did quite well. We got knocked out with the team that, uh, well, they didn't win it in the end, but they were a good side. Uh, the American Championships and yeah. became a bit more important. Club football became very important, but they're really trying to build it up again now. And here come Venezuela straight away on the move with Fernandez. And his ball laid in, headed out, not very far. Here's a shooting chance, certainly. And well, the first shot of the half is driven in. Garrido, I think it was. And now they come down the right. Chance of a shot here, maybe, and it's not a bad one. But smothered once more by Frasiana, who had a good If the Venezuelans do come on a break, he's got the fella, he's got to read it. And obviously, more times that, he's got to intercept it as well. More danger here. But, uh, that time, the little one-two didn't quite work. But there's been some very effective short passing by Chile in this game, and it uh, looks as though there might be some more here. Dangerous ball to the far post just beyond Zamorano, who managed to keep it in play, however, they look as though they're going to be lining up for a shot at goal. 
and Venezuela just succeeding in getting enough bodies around and now the breakout is led once more by Maldonado still Maldonado flies the ball left now oh, an unfortunate first touch from Rivas and if the ball gets moved the feet are still there the ball's gone obviously at the feet Espinosa will take the free kick and they'll play to him longer this time the goalkeeper got a punch to it Pacheco nodding it up he'll uh, capably with that one Goalkeeper who's just won his Spurs recently found his way into the Venezuelan first team. Again, the ball given away, and surely there must be chances of a third goal this time. It's from the angle, and he can't beat it. But once more, disappointment for Rubio. Should have, should have hit the target there. The man standing, or the two men standing over this free kick, Maldonado and Jaimez, and here is a good strike on goal. And the first real save that Toledo has had to make. Yeah, it was a good shot. Um, substitutes. And he's got quite a lot of experience on the bench as well as the coach to choose from. Arturo Salah. They look for a different option. Rubio tries to give them it. Now seeking to get the ball on the right foot. Threaded through. Here's the chance. Oh, good stop once more from Fraciana. And but for this goalkeeper, it might well have been three or four already. Macano was the fifth Venezuelan to be booked. Corner kick for Chile, however. And, uh, Zamorano will get up there again. Oh, and it's tipped back once more, and they're really desperate straights. Venezuela trailing by two goals to nil here in Santiago. Zamorano tackling for the ball, trying to win it twice. And successfully on both occasions. It's a bit of uh, uncharacteristically weak defending from Chile, and he's just opened them up, and the goalkeeper, Toledo, has to make the save at the end of it, and that really showed that he... Gomez slips the pass in field, no free kick this time. Rather fortunately, Cavallo came away and was able to play that ball upfield, where it's taken on by Rivas. Tall, lanky sort of a player, not got a bad left foot either. But, uh, he's got a very good left foot, John. He's, he's got a shoot. That, uh, game at Wembley. And it's Chile's corner. They've scored from one corner already. Here's the shot. Well driven in too. Fine effort from Espinosa. They've got a nice variety on the corner. Nice. Left foot again, and this time the little one-two does not work. And Chile come down the right, and they'll seek to make quick inroads while Venezuela have got a lot of fears funneling back. Oh, and it's a good run, this. Oh, and it would have been a super goal. But down goes Fraciano once more to make the save. There's hardly any throw-ins. I mean, when you try and think back, how many throw-ins have you seen? And, and because they can't get the sub on it. See, the, the game needs stopping to get the sub on them. I mean, normally, we, we give a throw-in out Absolutely. in our football. Either that or a free kick, yeah. just there's been nothing, has there? Here's a goal chance, super save! Zamorano really rose to that, and I believe he thought he was a goal scorer for the second and on time. the attack. They do move forward with such purpose, they're a very attractive looking side, the way they play the ball around, it's a good surface for them to play on as well. I said before, if all the surfaces are as good as this one, the various venues, then I think we're in for a treat. Pizarro. He's not got a lot of pace, but he uses what he has got well, and he cuts the ball back there. Once more, it's Fasciano who falls on it. And you can see there's a bit of anguish on the goal. Face. They just need a break. Quarter of an hour to go, and it's Chile 2, Venezuela 0. And Venezuela really on a dash out here. Oh, and if he'd have continued his run... It looked to me as though he'd got a good, got a chance, good chance of a shot on goal. I couldn't understand the thinking of the substitute well, Castro he, 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 he wanted to put the early cross in, John. I've got to say that. I think he realised the players coming from the back. But at the same time, he could have gone close to the byline. And perhaps... Oh, here's the chance. It's just nicked across the face of goal. Sorry, Don. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to describe, you know, having got into a hell of a good break from the back and got down this... Yeah, I'm sure it's not that they've settled for 2-0, because they want more than that. They want a more emphatic victory, they look to get it here. Laid off once more. Oh, and this must surely be the third! What a miss! What a desperately bad miss that is by Rubio. They well, tried, 9 out of 10, you'd yeah. have backed him. They tried to play offside, the one defender the didn't come out. I think
think if that one had gone in, John, I think the, the trainer would have emptied the bucket and the coach would have put his cigarettes away <laughs> and everybody would have been quite satisfied. Back to the hotel, everybody having a nice little drink. And they're on their relaxation. way to the next one. Yeah. They're going to be very happy indeed. He's got a split for another five minutes. <laughs> Here's a chance. Oh, side netting. And Wall formed in front of him. And they've had some good variety on the free kicks. What can they do with this one? They've got plenty of men in there. Here's the chance, and a man gets in the way. A blocking tackle made. Yeah, it was a good, good block by the four. We've got to the ball. Got, I think there's a lot of individual work on goalkeepers now, more than there ever was. And obviously, there's good, they, we're getting a lot of good goalkeeping coaches around as well. Here's Maldonado. He couldn't score, could he, for Venezuela towards the end here? Well, he got the shot on goal, and many of the Chilean crowd would have been hoping for more than a two-goal success. It's two-nil at the moment. That was an unfortunate ricochet, but they've still come away with the ball. Marcano again. First time we've seen a little bit of Latin temperament there, actually. Yeah, I mean... The two sides yeah. haven't been too bad tonight. I mean, there's been, I think there's been five bookings, but you wouldn't say that it's been a dirty game or that there's been tackles that you'd say, well, like, you know, in, in general it's been where people have put their foot in, the ball's been moved and... I think we've got a red card here, though, and I think it's because of a second bookable offence. Espinosa was the man dismissed. It was indeed Ruben Espinosa who was sent away, but it really didn't appear to be... Uh, a very serious offence, and Pacheco might get a goal here for Venezuela. Well, unfortunately, there was no sting in his shot. Early, and he could see the centre forward come to the near post, but the goalkeeper ready as well. And that is it, and Chile have beaten Venezuela. They register the first points, the first goals of the South American Championships. They've won by two goals to nil here. Vilches scoring after 23 minutes, Zamorano scoring the second on 35, a lively frustrating second half however, 